Today we have an intervention of two people who have been overcome with anger, and yet, sadly, they deny it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome to you all a very well-known pop country starlet, Miss Taylor Swift. Hi! I'm so thankful to be here. But, what is this? Well, Taylor, I'm sure you've noticed you're not at the autograph signing that you thought you would be. But wait, just one moment. I'd like to introduce another guest before we let you in on what's really going on here. Ladies and gentlemen, don't be afraid. Security is nearby. I'd like to welcome Jason Voorhees. So, Taylor, Jason, you're here because some of your loved ones think you have a problem with rack. I don't have a problem. I actually quite enjoy it. More of a solution than a problem. I'd like to leave this word like I came into it. Screaming naked and covered in someone else's blood. Rat? Me? No way. You know who I am? I'm a pop star. Everyone loves me. I have like a gazillion awards. Now, now, Jason. Miss Swift, let's take a moment to listen to some of your music. You don't think you sound a bit angry here? Aren't you really just an overprivileged, angry white girl? Well, maybe a little, but it's not hurting one like he is. I'm more of a passive-aggressive, I guess you could say. I'll hold the rage inside. He's a real raging, angry psycho. But I want your opinion. Hey, hey, let's be civil. I believe you each are hurting someone. You're hurting yourself. When your only tool is a hammer, all problems begin to look like nails. And as the Buddha said, holding on to drink, holding on to anger is like drinking poison and hoping the other person will die. Are you familiar with inferno, purgatory? Are you prepared for the price you will pay for your wrath? Taylor, Jason, I'd like for you two to meet your future. Ladies and gentlemen, Taylor and Jason, live via our direct satellite links, we will be chatting with guests condemned for eternity in Inferno and Purgatory. Here we have representatives from the gurgling mud, from the fifth circle of Inferno, where those whom anger has defeated go to. Could you tell us a little about yourself and your current situation? Are we having technical difficulties? It seems something is wrong with the audio. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. Apparently we are not experiencing technical difficulties. Let me explain. Those who are sullen, like you, Taylor, are lodged in the slime, unable to speak for words. So our on-site team will have to work to try and piece together what they are trying to share with you. For now, let's turn to Filippo Argenti. Okay. Yeah. Uh, get off me! Can't you see I've got something to do? I hate you! My name is Filippo Argen Argenti, and I'm stuck here in the muddy swamp of sticks. Or describes to that fool Dante the reason I'm here, when he says, Son, now see the souls of those whom anger has defeated. But who was defeated? I slapped that pompous ass. Ha ha! Yet what do I get? Just listen to, the da to Dante's description. And I, who was intent on watching it, could make out muddy people in the that slime all naked and faces furious. They struck each other, not with hands alone, but with their head and chest and with their feet, and tore each other piecemeal with the teeth. Pretty much self-explanatory, as you can see. Those of us who couldn't control our wrath and regard raged on others, this is our punishment. 
What more do you want? I'm here stuck in the mud pit forever, being kicked, punched, clapped, headbutted, and bitten. Jason, you say you want to go out the way you came? Well, you're close. You'll be screaming and naked, but it'll be your own blood you'll be covered in. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Philippa. And our on-site crew has gotten back to us with good news. They have found Cleegius. He is the boatman of the fifth circle of Inferno. He ferried Virgil and Dante across the marsh, whose name is Styx. He has to ferry any and everyone across the Styx. Luckily, he understands the bubbles, and he will interpret the bubbles of the mud for us. Welcome, Cleegius. Can you tell us about yourself? Get that camera off of me. I do not want to be taped. As for you people, of course. Like, I have nothing better to do than to hang around with repeating stuff Virgil and Dante already covered. I don't even belong here. And will they let me out? No. I'm stuck down here in the fifth circle of Inferno, all because I burned down one of Apollo's precious temples. That dirty, rotten scoundrel costed my daughter, stole her baby, and gave it to all the centaurs to raise. I could only wish I had burned down all of his temples. But whatever, lesson learned, do not go against the gods. At least I'm not stuck under the mud, choking on it for all eternity. That's the difference between being angry and letting it out, or holding it in and festering. Taylor, you are on your way to join these other passive-aggressive, whining, wimp losers stuck under the mud. Virgil couldn't have made it any clearer that what will happen to you. Under the water are found. Others who sighing make those bubbles come, the pock, the surface, everywhere you look. Listen here, Curly. You may not be able to understand them, but I hear it over and over and over. They are talking. But I don't know what the heck you need me for. Virgil already interpreted it. Lodged in the slime, they say, once we were grim and sullen in the sweet air above, that took a further gladness from the play of sun. Inside us, we bore a sedious, dismal smoke we have in this black mire to now be sullen in. This canticle that gargle from the craw, unable to speak whole words. Now get out of my face! Thank you, Phlegius. So, not convincing enough? Not scared of hell yet? How about let's meet Marco Lombardo? He's in the third terrace of Purgatory, where he is purging himself of anger as he loosens the knot of wrath. I must warn, we are unable to see him, but we can hear him just fine. Hello, Marco. Are you there? Ah, yes. I'm here. Let me fiddle with the microphone. This singing is so loud. Can you hear me now? What is wrath, and how does one end up on the third terrace of purgatory? One of you might be asking yourself this, and as Virgil says, and there is he, over injury, received, resentful, for revenge grows greedy, and angrily seeks out another's harm, people whom the fire of wrath has kindled. I may or may not have caused harm, but, like you, Taylor, I thought about the axe, and thus I, Marco, for the rest of my days, must loosen this knot of wrath I had made on earth. Sure, you will not be in mud, but my stay in purgatory is no five-star hotel either. Dante describes my home well. Darkness of hell and of a night deprived of every planet under meager skies, as overcast by clouds as sky can be, had never served to veil my eyes so thickly, nor covered them with such rough textured stuff as smoke that wrapped us there in purgatory. My eyes could not endure remaining open. Woe me, for I am blinded from God's light, forced to walk by sentence, breathing in acrid smoke, seeing visions of wrath, tempered by visions of mercy, and exhaling out my prayer for mercy upon me. O oh, Agnes Day, Agnes Day, Dante heard us singing and says, But I heard voices, and each seemed to pray unto the Lamb of God, who takes away our sins for peace and mercy, Agnes Day was sung repeatedly as exordium words sung in such a way, in unison, that fullest concord seemed to be among them. Master, are those whom I hear spirits? You have grasped rightly, Virgil replied, and as they go, they loosen the knot of anger. 
So listen to our songs. Farewell, and please do not end up like me. So Taylor, Jason, are you prepared to live eternity like the people we've met today? Or do you think you can change your ways and rid yourself of the wrath within? Well, I guess, I mean, maybe I can write happier songs instead. It's going to be hard, but I definitely will not be stuck in that bloody mud forever. And that song in Purgatory? No way. That'd be dreadful to hear for eternity. Maybe charming trees be close enough to human dying bodies. Okay. Well, great session. Here we have it, folks, another successful intervention. We'll see you next time on Seven Deadly Sins.